Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today radio show, also seen on YouTube on the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm a, uh, an author, uh, an addiction recovery coach, and a life coach. Do you ever want to find your passion, find your compassion, and look to be intellectual? As we gazed up at the mountains one day, my friends asked if I ever had desire to climb a huge mountain. I replied, I've already climbed uh, a, a huge mountain, uh, mountain in my life. I climbed the one of the highest mountains in the world. That mountain at the top had sobriety, the sobriety and the recovery process. So I would like to greet all of those courageous climbers who trekked up the mountain that is the, in the same process as the sobriety recovery mountain. I am so happy to be standing here at this mountaintop with you and your families and your friends and your advisors who pushed you hard and pulled you along the way to reach this plateau. As you stand at this peak about to receive another 24 hours of sobriety, I suspect you are not only celebrating, but you're also thinking about what is next. When I say thinking about what is next, my friends, I am not talking about you thinking about what is your next uh, 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 plateau in your life. I do not want to talk to you about today. Enough people have talked to you about that already today. Friends, I want to talk to you about what is next for your mind now that you are sober. What is next for your mind now that you have come uh, um, uh, this far and some people will call you a changed person. I say some people because don't expect people to, to do that. Not all people will do that. You will still be you even as you are sober. You will always be considered a drunk or a druggie by some people. The point of my address is, is to ask you a simple question. Are you an intellectual? Are you? I know you have earned sobriety through hard work and recovery, but I am asking you, are you intellectual? I'm asking this question because you need to know that being sober does not make you an intellectual person. Becoming a, a addiction recovery coach does not make an intellectual person. Working in a rehab center does not make you an intellectual person. Thinking at a think tank does not make you an intellectual person. It is so embarrassing, but there are doctorates who have no intel intellectuality. Just like there are MDs who are not healers. Just like there are uh, uh, JDs who are about justice. Just like there are reverends who are not about God, my friends. Isn't that a tragedy, walking a reverend who is not about God? Isn't that a tragedy, walking a JD who is not about justice? Isn't that a tragedy, walking a MD who's not about healing? Isn't that a tragedy, walking a doctorate holder who is not intellectual? Do not become that person. Today, you are in the club of the, the, the highest achieving sober folks. But I want you to talk uh, I want to talk to you today about joining the even more illustrious Academy of Intellectuals. No certificate is required to join the Intellectual Academy. This is an, an exclusive academy with all types of people with all types of backgrounds. There are people only with GEDs. There are people with uh, associates and, and bachelors in this Intellectual Academy. There are incarcerated people in this Intellectual Academy. There are homeless people in this intellectual academy. There are poor people in this intellectual academy. When I say intellectual, I am not referring to someone who knows a wealth of information. All of you, I am sure, know a lot. You know a lot about your discipline and your field and your research. Otherwise, you would not be uh, waiting for me to finish uh, uh, this video. So you can get... Uh, that uh, highest uh, degree of sobriety today. I have learned the hard way that standing in the way of people and their uh, desires is unwise, and standing in the way of American families and their food is really unwise. But please bear with me. I do not measure a person's intellect based on how much a person knows. 
I do not consider myself an intellectual because I know uh, a lot about uh, uh, the drug and, and alcohol abuse. How much you know has no bearing on how much you are in t uh, an, an intellectual person. I define, and many others define, an intellectual as someone with tremendous desire to know, just to know, to learn. Intellectuals are open-minded intellectuals, have a tremendous capacity to change their mind on matters to self-reflect, to self-critique. Intellectuals are governed by only one special interest, and that is really self-serving, the special interest of finding and revealing the truth in life. All of you want to stay sober, but how many of you have tremendous desire to know how to in the years to come? How many of your minds are wide open to new ideas? How many of you are searching for ideas that uh, challenge how you see the world? How many of you are willing to look at the world differently with a blink of new evidence? How many of you are critiquing your own ideas and intensely uh, uh, as you critique the ideas of others? Intellectuals are nomadic people constantly changing their conceptual location, constantly in search of better conceptual space. Intellectuals are constantly working out. They're working out their minds. We have work out warriors of the body, those who pump iron to break down old muscles to allow newer, bigger, and better muscles to grow in their place. Well, intellectuals are work out of warriors of the mind, regularly breaking down old ideas to allow newer, bigger, and better ideas to grow in their place. Intellectuals are open-minded. Are you an intellectual? Or will you become the tragedy that is the anti-intellectual? You know, those anti-intellectuals who stay close to what has taught them to, uh, or by their families and friends and favorite teachers and favorite shows, to be narrow-minded. You know, those anti-intellectuals who are constantly seeking to reinforce their beliefs and their beliefs only. You know, those anti-intellectuals who have planted themselves into a deeply uh, position that no hurricane of truth could uproot them. I want you to make history, not to be history. I want your work to be remembered. I want your sobriety to be remembered of what you have done to become there and what you're doing to stay there, not to be forgotten. I want you, uh, you to power and steer the academic current, not to be engulfed by it. I want uh, to uh, uh, celebrate one day. I want your family and friends to be bragging about more than their child that has been sober. I want your family and friends to be bragging about how your groundbreaking passion to help others is changing the world. Your compassion and your passion to help them. But in order to break new grounds, we must break from our old grounds. In order to change the world, we must critique the world. But before we can change or critique something else, we must have the capacity to change and critique ourselves. We must have the capacity to be intellectuals, to be on the perpetual climb towards the always rising peak of truth and sobriety. My friends out there, congratulations on being sober. But all, in all honesty, that is not enough for me. I don't want you just to be sober. I want you to be intellectual. I want you to be passionate. I want you to show compassion. I find your passion today. Find your compassion and make a difference in this world now. I thank you for watching this video, and I hope this inspired you early this morning. Call me at 844-405-HELP because together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Remember to be good to yourselves and to be good to others. A simple smile to a total stranger can change that stranger's life forever and can even change your life. Sh uh, find your passion, find your compassion, become intellectual. And remember, you will never be intellectual as long as your mind is closed to new ideas and new changes. Take good care.